Alright, we're here at the rendezvous point. Let's see if we can fuel up. Wonder if anyone's working inside here. General store. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Hmm. Is there anyone inside, though? Lights are on. No one working the cash register. Let's go inside. Should probably- Oh my god! Dead body. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Huh. Inspect. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? There's an envelope. What's inside? What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. Box for the Canadian Secret Service. Ooh, let's read it. Mr. John Va, Montreal. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Let's see what's inside. Read it. Is that it? Guess that's it. Hmm. Alright, well... Oh man, there's quite the kerfuffle over here. There's a lot of, like... <gasps> yeah, this place is a mess, I agree. There's, like, cans and stuff all over the place. Wonder if anyone still inside of here that might have caused the attack. Let's get our flashlight out. There you go, Canada. Clock. <gasps> An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Wait, what? What happened? My truck's okay. Windshield wipers are still working. Pump one, pump two. Let's turn on pump two. Okay, I think I hit the button twice, but <laughs> it should still work, right? Okay, we got a ladder here. Oh, there's a... Yes, yes, first aid. Take that. Don't think I really need anything else over there. Let's see if we can get some moolah. <laughs> Let's see. How would I open this up? I don't know. Validate. What is that? A, B, C, 8, 9, 10. What does that say right there? Credit? C. What does that say? Cal? Dell? Okay. I don't know how to use this thing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Sale. There we go. Oh, jeez. Don't mind if I do. Look at that. Can I take that? Can I take that money? Oh, whoa. I got a key. Whoa, open it again. Uh, three, sale. How'd I do that again? <laughs> three, four, sale. There we go. Look at that. Win the lottery over here. <laughs> I guess I can't take the money, but whoever was here wasn't here to rob that guy. There's a cigarette down there. Nah, nothing inside of that drawer. Oh, duct tape. I could use that. Uh, matches, it seems. Pencils, paper clips, eraser. <gasps> What's that? Customer credit. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. Is that it for this paper? Yeah, it seems like it. Uh, take that back. See if there's anything else in these, uh, things. Oh, whoa, another thing of keys. Is that a bunch of matches or cigarettes? Oh, I got a garage key, it says. Uh, I guess I can't open those. Oh, whoa, there's a paper. What does that say? Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Ooh, could this be who killed Hamilton? You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risk by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? <laughs> I'm a wise man. Not to worry. I will have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I will have to close down the shop, unless you would like to fill in for me. I wouldn't dare advise you, after all. You must know how it's done, since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Jill. I guess that's how it pronounced. pronounced that, just judged by the narrator fellow. What about this telephone? Pick up the telephone. Call the emergency line for Canada. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Hmm, seems like the telephone wires are broken. Is there one more Yeah, there's one more, uh, drawer here. Yeah, nothing inside there. Anything else over here? It's just broken glasses and... Just a bunch of- Oh! Nuka-Cola! I don't think that's Nuka-Cola. <laughs> what Wait, whoa, what is that? Oh, Kona-Cola! <laughs> nice! Now what is Kona? Is that- I don't know what it is. Game's named after it, though. I don't know if that's, like, something- 
Canadians would know. Leave a comment down below if you're Canadian. Uh, oh, what's this? A secretary wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't be luxury in here. What's that say? Cash register instructions. To remember the cash register, punch the price, two numbers minimum, press sale, and then turn the crank two times. Punch the machine if it doesn't work. <laughs> nice. All right, well, I already got that nice and uh, figured out. What's that saying? Read flyer? Yeah, we got another flyer. I don't know if I want to read this. Quebec's Klondike, Menistan. Is that it? Uh, well, I guess you guys can read that if you want. It's a lot of stuff about uh, Northern Quebec's economy being booming and whatnot. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a flyer after all. It's not really <laughs> anything too important. What about the back? The county of Manistan and its people wish to see you very soon. Didn't we just read that? I think we did. Might have been the same flyer we read back at the uh, the thing before uh, we fixed the path. What was that? Turn switch. Is that the power? <gasps> Ooh, the mains. Okay, that's off. And here's the electri uh, electric electric generator. Backup generator. Open that bad boy up. Reset the uh, fuses if we need to. Right. Let's see. What does that say? Uh, garage. There's the garage. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Hmm. So we might need to give uh, the garage power. Wait, what does that say? Which one's on? Uh, oh, let's give... I guess that's good. I, I can barely tell. Does that say off? Oh yeah, that does say off. Okay. Oof. So the main store... Does not have power. Explain that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Yeah, where's the Oh my god, wolves. Wolves. Okay, we got the backup generator. It seems like this garage. Wait, what is that? Ice crystals? What's back here? In the world? Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Yeah, let's take a picture of that bad boy. Keep that. Keep the picture. Got some wolf Vince? tracks. Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? Yeah, I just saw wolves, like, not too long ago. I wonder if wolves killed that. Oh, whoa, what is that? Eastern Adda... Adamapec. Take another picture of that. Probably shouldn't... Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets. And he didn't like to miss out. Yeah, I agree. I was about to say. Still didn't even go to the garage just yet, but, uh, oh, outhouse. I need to take a dump. <laughs> can I get one? Yep, I can go inside of here. Someone leave some poop there? Oh, whoa, did someone clean the outhouse? Because it looks like there's no poop in there. Feces. Nothing. Nada. Zip. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the garage. The garage has power, it seems, so. Just saw some wolves run that way from the garage. Do you go to the garage in this, this direction over here? There's another one of those, uh, fire things. Fire pit, I guess is what you call it. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, whoa, it's open. No, it's closed. Uh, unlock it. Yeah, we have the garage key after all. Get the flashlight out. There's a car in here. Close the door. There you go. There's a can on the ground. Hubcap, it looks. Trash can. Oh, wow. Some of you are, like, collapsed. Ladder or something? Oh, no, no. Yeah, shelf collapsed. What is that? Oh. Crowbar. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. But the car, the, the garage does have power, right? I just, oh, here he goes, is it? Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Didn't I just activate power for this? I don't know, I thought I did. Might have to go back and, uh, to the fuse box or whatever that place is called. Let's see. Oh, got some needle nose pliers. Uh, looks like nuts and bolts hardware. Nothing in there except for like a nail file, it seems. Uh, same thing inside there. Bunch of wrenches, screw, uh, screwdrivers and stuff. A radio. Does it have ba uh, battery? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> it's actually playing music. All right, let's close those. That way I know there's not really anything inside there. Oh, what's this? Sponges and stuff. The cleanest spot in the area. Yep. What's that? Uh, looks like filters. Alright, I think we're good on that at least. Oh, is that more, uh, first aid? I could use that. Definitely want to keep the first aid I already have. Just in case I do get another casual wreck. <laughs> Alright, let's stay here. Trying to, I guess, I guess go back and see if I, I fixed the fuse thing and... The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, 
car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, let's go back inside. Pump uh, number two is activated, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. I need to... Oh, whoa. Unlock the Something mail. Fell to the bottom of the box. <gasps> the murder weapon. A gun. A revolver. Let's go inside. There you go. Let's go inside. So, if I want to get gas, I need to supply power to the, the store. What about the generator, actually? Does the generator even have... Does it know it? It has a key inside of it. Sounds like it's working, though. Uh... Because I could hear it working. I don't know if I'm missing something here. I don't think we can go back inside the garage and... Get that thing working just yet. What about this thing? This big... Gas propane thing? Container? There's a tire. Push that thing out of here. <laughs> I, don't think, I, I feel like I'm stuck right now. Uh, oh. Now I'm no mechanic. But, uh, okay, that... The wheel do hickeys aren't spinning. And I assume they're supposed to be spinning. Oh, wait, what did that say? <gasps> Fixed generator. There you go. With duct tape, apparently. And turn it on. <laughs> there we go. It's not like it was working. Is that just my truck working over there? All the way over there? Because I hear some sort of machine or something. Okay, so I guess... Okay, I'm getting uh, heat right now, it seems. So I assume the store is getting uh, power. Let's see, what is working right now? Yeah, the store is getting power, so I guess that means uh, the lights over here are working, right? Yep, there you go. And let's turn on the pump. I'm glad I figured that out. There you go, I can see the green light. Let's go fill up our... Uh, didn't I close all those drawers? It's kind of spooky if I closed them and they're already open. <laughs> Alright, well, now that we know how to work the generator and all that stuff, let's fill up our gas pumps and then... Uh, or, uh, fill up our gas at the gas pumps. And... Okay, and there's nothing to unscrew, right? Okay, whatever. I guess that's, like, always open. There you go. Fill up gas can. I guess we got it. Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Wait, what's that saying? What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Huh. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. It's crazy, so that guy in the car was... I guess, working with the guy that killed this guy, or maybe it was the same guy, I guess? I don't know. It is as a citizen of Her Majesty and the free economic chambers of the world that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help for my country. I believe the free world is in grave danger. A member of my community, the Honorable... Uh... I guess that's it, right? Because they didn't finish that. So I guess that guy... Why was that key over here? That's kind of strange. Anyways, I guess we can, uh... Turn off the main... Uh, switch the power to the garage from the store. So let's do that. Turn that off. Turn that on. Let's go to the garage. Let's go grab that crowbar. Like we're playing some Half-Life. And I suppose, uh... What can we use that crowbar for, though? Hmm. I don't know. I should probably put up the, uh... Flashlight. I don't know if my flashlight needs, like, battery power. If, it, like, the batteries can go out and stuff. But let's go back over here to the garage and try and figure out, uh... What all's going on inside of here other than that crowbar? Oh, well, that light's working. I guess that means the power over here is working fine. All right, let's do that. Is that working? Oh, yep, 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 it's going up. Okay, let's grab the crowbar. There we go. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. That's good. All right, is there anything else here while I'm here? Is there a uh, main power or a main light thing like this? Oh, I guess I can turn it up there. Yep, turn that bad boy on. Is there anything else here? Can I just take that, uh, radio? <laughs> I could hear the music. Ooh, what's over here? At least we know it's fragile. <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of boxes over here that say fragile. I don't think there's anything else over here I need to worry about. I suppose I can get back in the truck and continue on, I suppose, right? Don't think there's anything else for me to worry about here, it seems. I think we got everything we need here. That's kind of weird. I just casually used duct tape to fix the generator. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but I guess that means duct tape can fix anything, right? Let's get back in the truck. This truck is kind of loud. I don't know why I left it on while I was out here. Windshield, wipers working and everything. Let's get back inside. We have a gun now. We have a key. We open the box. 
Got a lot of your stuff down here at the general store. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. Wait a second. Can I get out of the truck? Uh, I don't think I can, can I? Oh, wait. There we go. Is there a gas canister here? Because I think I saw a thing. That says, uh... Inspect. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, and there's another path all the way over there, yeah. Let's turn the power back on over here to the general store. And let's see if we can, uh... Get another thing of gas. Let's keep, uh, keep that going. That on. That off. General store's on. Garage is off. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's turn on the pump, I suppose. Activate. It's probably still activated, isn't it? Uh, nope. There you go. It's activated. Is there a, is there a, like, a jerry can here I can use to get some more gas just because I need it? Because it seemed like I could pump up the, uh, man, it's so bright out here. Seemed like I could pump up uh, some more gas there if I had a jerry can or something. Let's go. I guess if anywhere, the garage would probably have one, right? Let's go back there. Then if if there's nothing over here, if I can't like fill up more gas, I suppose I can go to the uh, go to the area over there. You know, because there was an area with those weird glacier things. I'm not seeing like a jerry can or anything here I could pick up. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can get one later. Maybe I come back here later in the game or something. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting car. I guess it's being worked on. I don't know. But, uh, I guess we can go that way. See if we can find out what is going on with that path with, with those wolf tracks and stuff and these weird, like, glacier ice things. Let's go this way and see if we can find anything. I don't know if there's, like, a casual abominable snowman out here I'm going to find. <laughs> Should probably be careful. Got a lot of, like, random cinder blocks there. I don't know what that's for. Alright, let's go. Continue on. Eastern Adamapec. Carl was beginning to know the store and its surroundings like the back of his hand. Yeah, I know, right? The Seeker had sought. I'm still following these paths and finding these weird glacier things. It's another one. Take a picture of it. Another picture. Throw away. God, I'm wasting these things. You stop doing that. <laughs> Let's see. No, don't take a picture of it. Uh, just inspect it or whatever. There you go. Take out cam. Why would I take out a camera for this? I just took a picture and wasted it. Whatever. I'm not. I'm not wasting it on that. Where do I go? Oh, whoa! Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be. It looked like a man fossilized in ice. That's crazy. Is that a real person? All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams. A cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. Oh my god. A hunter. Getting chased by, like, wolves? Whoa. What is this? Fire. And pr Oh, whoa, what was that? Mysterious journal. To all appearances, this was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. That's strange. The beast enjoys long slumbers. Its sanctuary seems impregnable. Ice is everywhere. I need to exercise patience and wait for it to come out. To think like a hunter. The beast often invades the settlements bordering the lake. It terrorizes the white people. They never see it coming, but they feel its presence. A cold dread grabbing at your innards. The beast excites the wolves makes them more aggressive. One attacked me, and I had to cut its throat. The blade digging into its flesh made the sound of a taut wire. The beast is getting closer to the villagers. It moves at night, bringing heavy snow and strong gusts of wind along with it. I tracked it to no avail. I do not know the white man frozen in ice, but I do know this. It is the work of the beast. Its attacks curdle the blood of its victims. White men know nothing of its force of nature. I touched the ice of the imprisoning white man. I saw things, but I do not understand them. Interesting. Guess that's it for this, huh? Alright. Yeah, I just read that. Oh wait, is there another page? Oh wait, yeah, there is. It was as if past and present were one, or as if I was a spider and, with my eight eyes, I could see backward and forward simultaneously. This beast, this creature, is not of this world. I must find the beast again, and if necessary, eliminate it. I don't think there's any more pages there, huh? Alright, can I take that? Uh, I guess not, huh? I guess I have to leave it there. So where do these paths come from? Oh, there's the beast! There's the beast! What is that critter? 
It's a handprint. We know. What's that? Necklace. What could these engraved numbers mean? What does that say? A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. 739, it seems. Alright. Continue on this path. Keep following it. Where does it go? Where does it come from? Oh, there's the hunter again. And more of these wolves. This is crazy. Who are you? You're not even following your own footsteps, it seems. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Where is... Is that another... What is that? Was oh, it campsite? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a truck. Is it, is it my truck? Is that mine? What? What is this? Oh. Carl had that feeling you get when you immerse your frozen hands in hot water. What happened? Hmm. Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. Gilles Lachance, the general store's manager himself. So, he was frozen in ice? Does that mean he did kill Hamilton, or he didn't kill him? I don't know, maybe he killed him and then ran away and then got frozen in ice casually. Can I take his wallet? Guess I can, huh? Guess his, uh, oh, is there any supplies here? had to be the worst parking job ever. Who was Carl to judge, though? It may be customary to park like that around these parts. Or not. Can I get anything in the box? I don't think there's anything in his uh, bed of the truck, huh? Can I... Is there anything else in the... I don't think so, huh? Yeah, it seems like that's it. Alright, well, now I know who the man frozen in ice is. Can I save him? Or is he, like, frozen in time and he's gonna unfreeze a thousand years in the future? I don't know. But there's the entrance of the general store over here. Yeah, there's the general, general store entrance. So, if I... Now, here's the paths again. The, the ice and all that stuff. There's the frozen fellow. So I'll pay my respects. Oh, there's his gun. Whoa! It's like broke. It's like bent. What? No wolf could have done that. Yeah. Some sort of critter must have done it. There's that guy. There's his face reveal. He's all, like, frozen. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> what a dumb! Is that it for this? I guess it is. I guess we'll continue on our merry way. And here's the, uh... Campsite, I suppose. Yeah, there's the journal, and oh, whoa. He, oh, Carl's inventory is full. Start fire. I don't want to start a fire. Uh, can I take that journal? I can not. I guess I have to leave it here. Anything in his bag? That's crazy, though. Oh, whoa, yeah, there's. I can go inside. Fire starters. I'll take that. Perfect. All right, let's go back to our truck. I guess we'll continue on the path, and. Man, that's crazy. All this stuff that we just figured out here. This frozen fellow? <laughs> Casually frozen? And then the dead body and all that stuff, and then we finally filled up our, our truck with the gas, so at least we have that going for us, right? Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. Not for much longer. We're going back to the truck, and hopefully my truck has some good heating inside of it. <laughs> can I take some milk? Because there's some fresh milk here. I, I don't think I can, right? A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. I know. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Uh, can I deposit some stuff here? Deposits. Uh, hardware, pliers. Let me, yeah, let me, let me deposit this. The pliers, the logs. There you go. Uh, fire starters. I might as well keep that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let me, let me keep the pliers. Actually, go back. Uh, withdraw the pliers. I could use the pliers, I suppose. Yeah, we could keep the firewood in our uh, truck. So let's, let's, let's take that. Let's take the hardware. We might need that. You know. So let's keep those. And there is some more firewood back there, but I don't think we're going to need too much more. We have like four logs right now, so I think we're good. Anyways, let's continue on. Let's get out of here. Skiddly don daddle. There you go. Here's the path. Is anyone coming? Oh, whoa. There's like a tree in the way. Eastern Adam Adamipec. Oh, jeez. Almost just crashed into that. Oh, whoa, there's a bridge. Can we go on that bridge? Oh, turn on my air conditioner. Or radio, actually. I don't want to turn that on. Let's right, go into the, What is that bridge? Where does that go? Is this going to collapse when I go across it? There you go. Wait, what? Okay. Guess it loaded a whole new area, huh? I can barely see in front of me right now. 